Okay, so in your anthology book on page 82, you can follow along as I read the story titled Lola and Tiva, An Unlikely Friendship. So let's go ahead and listen to the adventures of Lola and Tiva. Okay, our essential question this week is how do we care for animals? Read about a girl who cares for her pet rhino. So you have a girl who has her pet rhino and she is petting him right there on that page. So let's go ahead and see what the story is all about. There is a very special place in Kenya, Africa called the Liwa Wildlife Conservancy. Liwa is a large place where animals roam free and people called rangers watch over them. A young girl named Tiva lived there with her family. Her father worked for Liwa. Everyone at Liwa knew that Tiva had always wanted a puppy, but puppies were not allowed. Instead, the people at Liwa found Tiva a different kind of friend, a young black rhino named Lola. Lola seemed to work just as well as a puppy for Tiva. Lola and Tiva became the best of friends. This is their true story. Lola was born at Liwa to a mother that was blind. For a couple of days, Lola drank her mother's milk for food and stayed close by. But when she was strong enough to walk, Lola wandered off to another area of Liwa. Her mother could not see Lola walking away. Without a mother to feed and protect her, Lola was in danger. Lola needed food and could become a meal for a lion or another hungry animal. She could not find her mother and her blind mother could not find her. The rangers who worked at Liwa searched for Lola. When they found her, they brought her to a safe place in Liwa that was near Tiva's house. There, Lola would be out of danger. Tiva was excited when Lola arrived. She wanted to take care of Lola. Like any baby, Lola needed many things. Most of all, Lola was hungry and needed milk. Tiva learned to feed Lola. Lola drank a bottle five times each day. Each time she drank over a gallon. So I want you guys to think about how much milk that is. I'm gonna read this again. It says Lola drank a bottle five times a day. Each time she drank over a gallon. Now I don't have a gallon of milk to show you because Mr. Villarreal went to the store and he only bought a half gallon because that's usually how much milk we need for a week. And, but imagine a big jug of milk and Lola needed five of those a day. Now I'm looking at the word that says she drank over a gallon five times a day. So you know how you have your gallon of milk? So probably a little bit more than a gallon five times a day. That's a lot of milk. Tiva loved Lola. Lola was a lot like a big puppy. She tried to climb things, she licked things, she smelled things. And here you can see Lola is even begging at the dinner table. So how was Lola like a big puppy? Tiva wanted a puppy, so how was getting Lola like a puppy? Well, she needed to take care of it. She needed to feed it. She needed to keep it safe, right? And you could see through all the pictures too that Lola needed a lot of love, kind of like a puppy does. Like most pets, Lola never posed when Tiva tried to take pictures. She wanted to nap, but Lola did like for Tiva to pet her between the ears. That's another way that Lola's like a dog. She likes to be pet by the ears. Of course, rhinos are not really like dogs. They don't eat dog food. When Lola was about five months old, she started to eat like a real rhino. She ate shrubs, twigs, and leaves. Her upper lip is shaped like a hook and can grab onto food. Lola could wrap her hook around sticks and leaves, but she still loved to drink her milk too. Rhinos in the wild are usually shy. They often run away if they see or smell people. Lola was too young to be afraid of people. Tiva and the rangers became her families. So that's a fun fact about rhinos is that they're shy. So if you were just to walk up to a rhino, number one, that's not safe, but normally they don't like to be bothered. They like to be left alone and they are kind of shy. Well, when Lola was a baby, she didn't know that she was supposed to be shy from humans. So she would just walk up to Tiva and the rangers. A baby rhino is called a calf. 
A calf usually stays with its mother for two years. The mother watches over her calf. Lola needed someone to look after her. Tiva became Lola's special friend. Like a pet, Lola needed care. Tiva helped pick bugs off Lola's body. The bugs could make Lola sick. In the wild, birds eat the bugs off of a rhino's skin, but birds would not do that for Lola. There were too many people around. Lola also needed to take baths, mud baths. When a rhino rolls in the mud, it's called wallowing. It is an important part of being a rhino. The mud protects the rhino's skin from the sun like sunscreen. Once the mud dries, it also keeps bugs from biting. So even though it might sound gross to take bugs off an animal, if it's your pet and if you have to care for it, you've got to do it. So if Tiva was taking care of Lola, she had to get those bugs off of her because why weren't the birds doing their job? Well, in the wild, there's no people around, so the birds can just land on a rhino's back and pick those bugs off. But Lola was by the humans, so since there was too many people around, the birds wouldn't come to Lola and take those bugs off. So that is where Tiva helped a lot. And then also, what is it called when a rhino takes a mud bath? It's called wallowing. So how does wallowing help a rhino? Well, they get that mud on them and the mud is like sunscreen. So that way the sun doesn't damage their skin. And with all that mud on them, the bugs don't bite them. So they had to make sure that Lola got her mud baths. Tiva made sure Lola knew how to wallow. It isn't as easy as it looks. It takes a lot of practice. A rhino does not have to wash mud off. A little girl does. Lola and Tiva shared their days together. Lola learned about being a rhinoceros. Tiva learned about being a good friend. It was a lot of fun and it wore them out. Now Lola is almost full grown. She is too big to play with Tiva like she used to, but the time they spent together will always be special. After all, a little girl never forgets her first best friend. How have Lola and Tiva changed? Go back to the text to answer. So let's start at the beginning, okay? How did Lola and Tiva change? Well, Lola, remember she was a baby rhino and she couldn't eat regular food. She could only drink milk and Tiva had to feed it to her. And then as Lola got older, she was able to eat shrubs and sticks and regular rhino food. And then she got a little older and then she got too big for Tiva to take care of as much as she did when she was a baby. So let's go ahead and talk about our author and let's go ahead and talk about a letter from Juliana, Isabella, and Craig Hatkoff. To our readers, what does a little girl who lives in Africa do when she can't have a pet dog? She takes in a pet rhino. That is if she lives on a nature conservancy like Tiva did. When we first saw photographs of Lola and Tiva playing together, we fell in love with their story. We think it is every young animal lover's dream to feed, take care of, and be friends with a wild animal. We hope you can enjoy the true story of Lola and Tiva as much as we do. With hope and peace, Craig, Juliana, and Isabella Hadkoff. Okay, and then the last part right here is the photographer, and his name's Peter. Peter likes to take photos for news stories. One story he photographed told of a friendship between a baby hippo and a giant tortoise. That sounds like an interesting story and it looks like Peter likes to go and look up stories that are interesting and take really great pictures. Okay, and then that is the end of our story for today. So we're gonna be coming back to this video a lot this week, but make sure you follow along in your anthology book too and we'll talk about this story later. Bye.